Governor Jared Polis is celebrating the third night of Hanukkah at the state capitol. He'll be lighting a 10 foot menorah at 5 o'clock tonight. This is video from last year, but this event is the largest public Hanukkah celebration in Denver. Polis, of course, is Colorado's first Jewish governor. Yeah, a 10 foot menorah is nice and all, but bigger is better, right, Dan? <laughs> yeah, 10 feet, that's cute. Okay. Uh, so what is like the biggest thing you ever built out of Legos, you think? Like, how many know. feet do you yeah, think it was? Kind of, I don't you know. know. I mean, I tried to build, yeah. you know, towers and rocket ships yeah, and you that kind of start yeah. to yeah. lean back and forth. Yeah. yeah, well, you're about to see. Yesterday, I headed over to Denver Jewish Day School, where they believe that they have set a world record for their menorah that was made out of Legos. Mm. What is that? Is that the world's tallest Lego menorah? Well, this man says so. This is Rabbi Yonatan Newson. And he claims that he and his students have built the largest Lego menorah in the world. And a couple of people tried this year. It was a big contest. It really was. And the beautiful thing is that we not only built something that is so tall, this is actually over 24 feet tall. But it's not about the height. It's the amount of unity that it created. We didn't just create this by ourselves. Our entire Jewish community came together to build that mammoth of a Lego menorah. How many people are we talking here? It's a great question. There was over 425 Jewish teens and kids that came together piece by piece to put that thing together. What's holding it all together? Because I've tried to build like Lego Death Stars and Lego <laughs> Towers in my home, and they usually fall after about a foot and you're 24 times that. So what is the binding agent here. Is it matzo meal? What is it? <laughs> Something like that. Just a little twist though. So we actually had to meet with numerous engineers to go over our schematic, our blueprint, to make sure that this was structurally safe for everybody to celebrate around it. Inside we have a 20 foot steel tube and on top is a cross beam. And there was a lot of different engineering parts to make that thing stand the way that it is. And so yes, we have the steel pipe, we also have tape to make sure that it sticks together. A lot of people actually use glue. The thing that's different about our menorah is that we're going to be dis disassembling it afterwards to pack into gift boxes to give to children both in foster care here local in Denver. And when our kids go on our Israel trips during the summer through NCSY, they'll be taking those gift boxes and giving it to children in foster care in Israel as well. Well, that's beautiful, and I'm sure there's enough pieces to go around. How many are going into this menorah? So our original design was scheduled to have this be 25,056 pieces, but we definitely got a little bit more than that. Well, it seems to be functioning, and it's like 17 degrees outside. Can we fire this baby up real quick, Rabbi? Yeah, of course. I'm let's really do it. Cold. Let's Can make we get it these? What are you even using for the candles? So for candles, we actually use tiki torches. Okay, very wrapped good. Wrapped in Legos, of course. Ra wrapped in Legos. <laughs> okay, there you go. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And man. happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. It's pretty big. <sighs> That yeah, is big. It's really cool. I yeah. think I have like 25,000 Legos in my basement, though, that we could, <laughs> yeah. we could do something yeah. with. Yeah, you exactly. Just in bins. Of and, all them. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I love the message of community and unity with, yeah. the, yeah. with the menorah and, and the Jewish community, but also the symbolism of the Legos, too, all coming together. Yeah. He's not like point. Noah. He's not saying, like, I built an ark. Mm -hmm. Just me yeah. and my family. Yeah. He's like, yeah. me and like 500 kids yeah. and really cool. parents built yeah. this 25,000 piece menorah. That will be packaged and then yes. gifted. Yes, and now. Legos yeah. are going to be donated. I have no idea how they acquired 25,000 pieces of Legos. <laughs> Maybe they're from Nicole's basement. We should go look. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> Excellent. I think they're from we, you. I, I, Lisa definitely has that many uh, yeah. and, or more in her house. So, yeah. Some water on that, and then it'll mm. freeze overnight, and it will hold itself in place for at least a couple of days. Right? Oh, true. It right. can be frozen shut. Good Lisa, point. The structural engineer there. <laughs> and then we can light the tiki torches that are on top, and that'll melt the ice. Melt, when we're yeah. done.